I grew up with a heteronormative dream. Going off to high school, meeting a boy, being in a relationship, being like the girls I saw in the movies. At 12, I realized I may never be like those girls. I would never have those experiences I dreamed of. I hated myself for too long. Sitting at the back of sixth grade health class, hearing about straight sex, picking at my nails, wondering if I would ever belong. In eighth grade, I lived in fear of the girls' change room, and my friends and I were told to take home our pride flag because it was causing conflict. Ninth grade, and everything changed. Everything was just a little more gay. On the third day of school, a student in my English class wore a rainbow we are all human t-shirt, and I thought to myself, wait, I could do that too. I could be myself in this school, and I relished in my newfound freedom of self-expression. Then came a night I will never forget, the rainbow ball. A night of friendship, love, and safety. A night of meeting new people where I didn't have to hide. A night of pride flags and slow dances, of feeling every bit of fear I have of not being accepted wash away with every song. That night, I was given the opportunity to be a normal teenager, to be flirty and ask someone to dance. I would do anything to relive that night because that night, I fit in. I belonged. It no longer mattered if I saw girls like me in teen movies because we were living out a movie of our own. That night, I realized that I am who I am and no one can tear me down. That night helped me to see that being gay doesn't make me good or bad. It makes me me. That night helped me to know that I should never have to hide who I am. Although we still have a long way to go, there is a community, a whole family of people that will stand together no matter what. I was introduced to this incredible second family. We must be resilient and strong because there is still discrimination in this world. We need places where we don't have to be, where we don't have to be strong or brave, where we can be nervous and giddy and vulnerable which is why I'm here to highlight the importance of nights like the Rainbow Ball, school GSAs and trips to Church Street. Events like these give LGBTQ2S plus students the opportunity to be unapologetically us. And this past year has taught me that there is no better feeling than being you, 100% you.